All right, so let's get to your daily blend of news, weather, traffic, everything you need to know to start your Friday off right. Rob, are you happy it's Friday? Why <laughs> always on me because I celebrate Fridays. She we starts all on Wednesday yeah. Fridays. Friday. You know, sometimes when the, the mood is a little uh, okay. tense in my house, I will summon uh, Siri to play something that will make my wife happy. That seems to work. <laughs> Unless it plays a song that does not work, or she obviously hears that I'm trying to make her laugh, and then it's the exact opposite. Am I still talking right now? I should just move on with the weather. It's gonna be sunny in the Sierra. We've got a big situation for wind, folks. Allergy issues this entire week. Yesterday was better than most days, but you know what? It's all coming back. It's kind of cold out there, 40s. We're gonna hit the 70s. Enjoy these temps that you're gonna feel. This is a big warm up from just yesterday, four, five, six degrees in so many spots. But the problem is, is that we pay a price for this, which is the wind coming back. It's gonna be really windy today, but then it backs off all the way through the weekend. All right, let's make sure you're prepared as you head out. Take a look at your screen. This is what I was coordinating behind the scenes. Elkhorn Boulevard near 22nd Street. Overnight, someone hit a power pole. We now have power lanes down in the area, power lines. You could see power outages as well. So if you run into a problem with traffic lights, you want to treat that as a four-way stop. That's Elkhorn at 22nd. You can take Q Street to avoid some of the delays. What are our ABC 10 Wazers talking about? They're talking about your drive times. On 80, it's not a parking lot yet. I just love telling you that. 80 into Sacramento, we are looking at 19 minutes. I'll let you know when it changes. All right, it is 6.03. Family and friends are mourning the loss of a Sacramento man after Yolo County deputies confirmed they found the body of Shalvinus Sharma floating in the Sacramento River. Sharma's family members say they think he and his wife Rosalind were in that tow truck that plunged off the Pioneer Bridge and into the river in late March. There's no update right now on where Rosalind may be. Right now, officials have not been able to recover the tow truck. All right, let's get to some other stories making headlines right now. Searching for justice. This morning, the family of a newborn who died after the baby's pregnant mother was hurt in a car crash in Rio Linda on Monday. They want to know why a suspected DUI driver involved is already out of jail. The CHP says no charges have been filed against the driver, Ronnie Ward, while the investigation continues. Ciara Viegas is still in critical condition. More possible charges? Today, Swedish prosecutors are thinking about reopening a sexual assault investigation against Julian Assange. The WikiLeaks founder was arrested in London yesterday. The Australian national faces an extradition battle to the U.S. on a charge that he conspired to hack military computers. Top killing case goes on. A man accused of killing Newman police officer Roniel Singh in December will stand trial. A judge decided Paulo Mendoza, also known as Gustavo Arriaga, is competent for the case to continue after Arriaga was examined by a psychiatrist. Arriaga entered a not guilty plea in court. It is 6.04. A group of students at Whitney High School in Rockland are being recognized for earning top honors at a national convention doing what they love, which is producing television newscasts. ABC 10's Carlos Herrera is there at Whitney High with more on this amazing accomplishment, and that's not Carlos. Enter and sign in, please. Good morning, I'm Julie West. And I'm Emma Para. And we have taken over Carlos's job at ABC 10. And Walt, we're coming for you next. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> ABC 10, if you're hiring, please take uh, me back, or at least consider it. Walt, I don't know about him, he's behaving bad. Hey guys, take a look. These are part of the uh, 68 students that traveled to Seattle to the student uh, network or student tape. No, here, let me get it right. The uh, Student Television Network Annual Convention. They won big out there actually when they traveled they've actually competed against 3200 other students in that national convention best student tape daily show and best morning newscast how do you guys feel about that <laughs> all right so i want to get the reaction how did you feel when you guys were announced as winners it was just such a shocking experience like we didn't know this was going to happen and like we put so much work into it so it all paid off in the end and we were just so proud of each other did you cry Yes, I was a mess. Did you cry? <laughs> Just a little bit, but it was okay. You all cried, right? Yeah. yeah. Listen, a small town doing big things, but for them, actually, the awards mean a lot. But being part of the Whitney High School broadcast program means much more than that. You guys have really got a lot of help, right? With, yeah. With this program? We have gotten a lot of help. We're really fortunate to be doing what we're doing every day. All right, so we have a couple of people at ABC 10 Morning Blend that... Uh, 
uh, actually might be leaving soon. Uh, who wants to take Kirsten's job? Anyone? <laughs> yeah, who wants to take uh, Rob Carlmark? No. He does weather. No, honey, I got bills to pay. Y'all yeah, pay she, he does. but you know what? He yeah. has a newborn coming soon, so maybe we should be nice to him. Brittany Bagley does traffic and many other things. No, you know? no, we're not here for that, Carlos. Quit taking volunteers. All right, now the big one here. He makes the big. He makes the big bucks at ABC10. Um, Walt Gray. Anyone up for that position? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. What are you talking Listen, about? I still need a job. Our news director, please. I'll shoot you an email. Oh. You are out of your mind this morning, man. <laughs> Kirsten is like all scared that somebody's taking her gig. I need my bills paid. She needs her bills paid. <laughs> all right. Hey, Carlos, uh, thank you for bringing that story. It is amazing with high school newscasts these days. They're yeah, better you know than what? college newscasts when I was doing it. I mean, technology. Exactly. Yeah. And you know what? I'll tell you what. Some of these uh, students aren't looking into becoming uh, TV news uh, correspondents or producers or anything like that, but they've learned you. a lot. Yeah, uh, it's amazing. I bet you do. It's a great group, very poised, their equipment, their set, all of that, and your IFB's not working. All right, we'll move along. Look, yeah, hey, Carlos is like, did you just ask me a tough question? I couldn't hear it. All right, that's your... Uh, <laughs> what? I can hear you. Eh, eh. All right, that's your Daily Blend. If you have something you want to share with us, just use the hashtag MorningBlend10. All right, let's get to some stories like these sent straight into your inbox. If you want more of Carlos in your inbox... Sign up for our Daily Blend newsletter by texting the word email to 916-321-3310 or just sign up at abc10.com slash email.